Hello, this is Katie, and uh, since Thanksgiving snuck up on me, this will be the last Thanksgiving card. And uh, I think this is number five. So it was worth a shot. But I'm excited for Christmas cards. So, anyway, um, so Debbie Hughes, who is Lime Doodle Design, I don't know what her YouTube name is. I suppose I could look it up, huh? Um, uh, anyway, so she showed the Simon Says Stamp, I think it was the November or December, that special card kit that was kind of cool with the Sparkle and Shine stamp set. And she created this kind of effect in her card in a video, and um, I commented, and apparently others did as well, um, as to how she did it. And long story short, this is how. It's pretty messy in the background, and it's two layers worth. So we're going to show this. Uh, so she actually created a separate video because so many people were asking. And um, I'll link to that video down below in the description. Um, I'll link to that first before I list what products I used. And uh, it was just really cool, and I felt kind of silly after I saw how she did it because I probably could have figured out that that's how it was done. But it's still good to know. So, I actually already made one of the cards that I'll be making right now. So I have kind of several steps along the way. I have completely undone, this is a folded card, and this is the single that we're going to be cutting the circle out of. And I have partially done with the messy back that you can see. And then I have completely done, which is kind of cute. And so this is raised up a little bit with foam. And I actually had already colored and cut him out, and uh, so I stuck him down. I'm just going to stamp and color in the one for this video, because cutting him out was really hard, and I only did him for this one, and then another turkey card I made, I think. So I'll have to grab those markers, too. Uh, so this is the completed one that I did earlier. I think this is going to end up being my, my favorite one. I think I got lucky on the first try. Um, this one isn't quite so circly. Ooh. And uh, we'll see how the one that I'm going to show you goes. And it takes a while, and since I'm not editing, and I don't know how to edit or speed up or whatever, feel free to fast forward through it if you get the gist. But I will be recording all of it. So, um, I'll be using the Lil Inker Design Stitched Circle Set, and it's the third one in that we'll be cutting out of the upper portion there. So I'm going to bring this, <clears throat> the big shot, and just eyeball it. And I want to give enough space here, here, and here, kind of equal. I mean, I want it to look equal regardless, but give enough room because we're going to be putting these all around the edges, and I want to make sure that I'm not working with too thin of a surface area. And then because these are the stitched dies, sometimes it can be a little hard to poke or pull them out or pop them out, I should say. And you want to be careful. You don't want to rip any of the little stitched parts. So you just kind of try and lift it off of it, and you can see that stitched line. It's very cute. I'll put the die back in the handy magnet. Someday I'll get a binder full of just magnet sheets for all my dies, but right now I store them in a tub in their original plastic whatevers they came in. So, there's that. So we're going to start by flipping this over to the back so that it can look like this. And uh, I have strips. I just cut them to half an inch. You can pick whatever colors you want. This is Thanksgiving themed, so I'm doing Thanksgiving colors. And you want to... <clears throat> just create an adhesive line all the way around as close to the opening of the circle as you can get. And we're going to be using adhesive continuously as we go because you'll have to be putting it on the paper pieces that you're sticking down um, as well so that the next one can stick to it. And I got some on the... If you have your adhesive or your tape runner, um, you know, go off of the paper. You just kind of fold it over and put it back on the paper. So we're good to go. 
Okay, so I'll start with just any color, and I actually, how I've been doing it for the two times I've done it, um, just holding and kind of looking at how it looks and how much I want to show, and then sticking sticking that down. So I'm doing it from the front, but it's going to be sticking to the back. And then you want to lift up and just trim it. Try not to cut your card base. I've done that before. If you miss where your scissors are going. Just kind of trim it. Obviously you don't want to trim into here because then it would affect what you see out in the front. Uh, so just be careful where you're trimming and make sure you're keeping it on the white. And then, so for the next one, I want to put some adhesive on the orange and maybe some more on the white. Then we'll take the yellow and we'll do, we'll go this way. I think I went the other way for the other two cards, so we'll go counterclockwise. So you kind of just decide what effect you want. It's not really easy to figure out what's going to look perfect in the end. It's just kind of guessing as you go and hoping it looks okay. I think that's why I got lucky on the first round. Okay. And like I said, this part, if you get it, go ahead and fast forward through it. I won't cut it out or edit it. Um, who knows? You might miss some tips. Not sure. Some chatter. Um, <clears throat> I hope everybody is going to have a fantastic Thanksgiving tomorrow. I will be going to my parents' house. I told my uh, five-year-old nephew that I would be vegetarian with him for Thanksgiving, which is kind of tricky because I don't even like turkey. I don't like Thanksgiving turkey. I think I like sandwich turkey, but not the actual turkey on Thanksgiving day, so I actually end up eating sides anyway. But I got me and him, and uh, my sister-in-law is vegetarian as well. If she's coming, I think she's coming. I got me and him a, him and I, I guess I should say, one of those field roast thingies that's fake meat, but it's um, a meatloaf because they didn't have like the celebration roast thing I was looking for that's kind of acts like turkey with stuffing, basically. And um, he won't know the difference though, he doesn't care. But he does know that he does not want to eat animals, which is funny to me because I didn't think of five-year-old could understand that, but maybe he doesn't. Who knows? Anyway, so um, as you can tell, I'm just alternating colors. This would probably also look fine with um, four colors. Not sure about two. I think you want to be able to alternate a few, um, but four colors would give it even more variety. So I'm just kind of changing. And you'll see what I do when I fill it up once. And I kind of winged it on the first one and it worked out well. I'm still going over on my adhesive there. You end up using quite of a lot. Quite of a lot. Quite a lot of adhesive on this. So I'll do yellow here. Oops. See, this is what happens. You need to make sure, and this is probably going to look bad on the front too. Oh well. Make sure you put adhesive everywhere so it sticks down. Hopefully this yellow isn't too wrinkly. Usually bone folders are good for flattening out wrinkled or folded papers, just a tip. Um, kind of like how my paper tray ink papers come like a tiny bit bent on one of the corners, and I know it doesn't happen in shipping, but whatever, I think I've mentioned it before. I just use those ones for my corner cards where I cut off the corner anyway with the, the rounder punch, but um, you can also flatten it out with a bone folder, and it actually works quite well. So keep that in mind if you have bent or folded or something like that. See, it's not the greatest looking, but the bone folder helped a little bit, so. So then here I'll put the last brown piece for the last round, or the last piece on the first round. 
That looks a little odd. Let's do this piece. And you can stick with the one layer if you want, or if you want to do two. It's not necessarily two layers either when you go back, because um, this is actually kind of cute the way it is. Just that set up there. But you can go back, and really what I did is I actually ended up adding um, an orange, a yellow. I just kind of added what other color wasn't there, and I tried to make it a circle, so it just kind of depends on how it looks. But I think I'll actually stop here for this one because I like how it looks and I don't want to wreck it. So if you want to keep going, you would just add some adhesive here, maybe put a brown there, add some adhesive, maybe an orange. Just try not to touch these two oranges. Try and keep it within so you're not hitting the same color. Um, maybe add a yellow here as long as it doesn't touch this one, things like that. So just kind of work with it a little bit. But I think I'll stop there for that one. And then <clears throat> on the front of the card, I'm actually going to stamp the sentiment first and then I'm going to raise it up on foam. Then we'll just stamp our turkey in the middle and color him in. So, I'm going to use the Versafine for the sentiment because I don't need to color it in or anything like that and I want it to look really bold. So I want to make sure that it's straight. And then we'll stamp Happy Turkey Day. And that's good to go there. And then flip this over and it is a little sticky because of all the adhesive so be careful where you set it if it gets stuck to something else might want to be careful. We'll do adhesive along the bottom. And you don't want to put any adhesive on these, I mean any, um, sorry, foam tape on these parts because they're already raised enough and we don't want to throw off the, the level of it. So we're just going to do the areas, just the white areas that don't have the part we've been working on. And you want to make sure that you support the card too, so get as many little pieces as you can in the uh, white card areas. Put one here, and that should be good. I think I'll put a little thin piece up at the top, because I don't want the top to sag at all. Um, so I've got those, and then I'll just line this up with the card. Start at the top, because I can always trim off the bottom, which I did have to do on the first card. Oops, uh, I didn't smear that too bad. Be careful with the VersaFine. I'll show you if you can even see it. Um, the ink needs a little longer to dry than Memento. I just smudged a tiny bit down there, but looks like my thumbprint too. Okay, I didn't have to trim any on this one, but on my last one it just extended the inside part of the card. It was a little longer, so I just just followed that and trimmed along. So we've got that part. This this part's bothering me a little bit, but I feel like this would get beat up in the mail anyway. But, oh well. So we'll do our turkey in the memento. Tuxedo black. Hope that we stamp him okay, because I've already done the rest of the card. Perfect. And then I'll try and base this color off of this guy here. So let me grab my markers. I think I may have used these two colors on the feathers. And then the light, maybe just that one. And then I used my favorite red, Copic. I'll show you that one. And then I need a yellow of some sort for the other part. I think that's it. And then we'll do Wink of Stella for the, the feathers in the gob gobble. I don't know what the red thing is called. Um, I put Wink of Stella on those parts. So I thought it was kind of cute. So. So I'll start with the dark for the orange on the feathers. Maybe I'll zoom in a little bit. I wish I had a remote control for the zoom. Sorry, it's wobbly. There we go. 
Um, so I'll just kind of give the these an outline with the darker orange. And then I'll drag that in with the lighter orange. Whenever I watch other people color with Copics and they miss like a tiny white spot in like the corner of a picture or an image or something and they never touch it with markers or fill it in, it drives me crazy. So I can't be that person. So I'll kind of try and blend this in with this orange and basically you just want to go over the dark again. Is this zooming okay? Okay. Go over the dark again and kind of pull it in just so it blends. Like I said, I'm not a pro, but if you go over it enough times, it'll blend and give that effect. Go over the dark, pull that in. Okay, so fill it in, go around the edges. And it'll get some wink of Stella on it too, which may blend a little bit. Um, I mentioned before, I still have the same pen. My wink of Stella ran out, but I did add water to it. So they're a little looser because there's got to be, I don't know what's in the pen originally. It's definitely not water because now it's watery. And I just have to be careful because that lets out a lot of glitter. So I think for the turkey before, what I did is kind of did an outline of the brown. This might not be the brown I used. I think it was a different brown, but that's fine. Did an outline and then colored him in and maybe did the outline again to give that shading. These aren't really a big area fill-in kind of marker. It's definitely made for the blending, for sure. Plus when you use a Copic really fast, it really doesn't let a lot of ink out. It almost acts like a dry marker, but that's fine. He looks like he's got a little bit of shading. Then we'll color his hangy thing, whatever that's called and then give him a yellow beak. So we've got each of the colors that are around on him as well. So he looks cute. Then I'll take the Wink of Stella and I'm going to use some of the scratch paper here to get some of the glitter off because there really is quite a bit. And I'll just try and give him a little bit without letting out too much. And then his little gobble thingy, whatever you want to call it. And you can always pick up extra glitter. Just use a piece of paper, like press down and kind of pick up some of the glitter or use your finger, whatever you want. Anyway, so that is the card. I'll zoom out a little bit here. That's the card with one layer. And then I'll show you the one with kind of two layers. It's more like one and a half. I just kind of filled stuff in. This is obviously the lighter brown and the lighter orange. So I must have used different markers. Anyway, um, I'll put in the description below the markers that I did use. I meant to show you my favorite red, which is apparently called cadmium. Maybe this will focus. Cadmium red. Do it. Focus. doesn't want to. Anyway, cadmium red is R27. I'll put that in the description with the rest of the ones I used. Um, I don't remember which ones I used on him, but this is the finished one, and hopefully you'll try a card with that look, and it'll come out really good. So we've got Happy Turkey Day, and then some point after Thanksgiving, we'll start a Christmas card series and maybe throw a Hanukkah or two in there because I have some of those stamps as well. And we'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye.